today, I'll be going over the most five underrated uses for gadgets. Let's get into it. Starting out with number one, we have Buzz's gadget, which gives you an instant super. It might not stun, but in Brawl Ball, you could instantly shoot the ball in. So for how common it is, I would say three out of three. But for difficulty, I would say one out of three. It's not hard at all to pull off and it's really good. The second thing is Jackie in Brawl Ball. If you're able on this map specifically, in this specific spot, after you score one goal and you're able to block it in without the enemy teaming having anyone to destroy any walls, you could cheese it, lock it in there, and then just sit there and watch them suffer. Now, for how hard it is to pull off, I'd say three out of three. And how common I see this, I never see this. It's a one out of three, but very good. Next up, we have the Miko and Charlie cheese. This is really, really brutal because say there's a hard team that you can't really quite kill in the middle. All you have to do is perfectly time this thing with Miko and Charlie. You got to kill yourself as Miko. Then after that, you got to gadget as Charlie and then gadget again. And this is why Charlie's gadget as a cocoon is underrated because you could do this in duos and just completely win. No matter how high the power, I mean, if they have 99 power cubes, I guess. But no matter how high they are, you are most likely going to win. Because this cheese is just absolutely insane and broken. So for how common I see this, I'd say 2 out of 3. How hard it is to pull off, again, 2 out of 3. It's not frame perfect or hard hard, but it still is quite difficult. Next up, we have Edgar. If you use the gear that gives you an extra gadget and you use the gadget called Let's Fly that charges your super, it also charges your hypercharge a quarter of the way. So if you're able to hide in a bush and just kind of camp this out, then it is extremely overpowered as it only takes roughly 30 seconds to get your hypercharge and super. And from there, you could absolutely dominate the game doing team wipes and just doing all sorts of crazy plays. How common I see this? I'm gonna have to do 1.5 out of three. Not too common, but halfway. As for how easy this is to pull off, it's it's literally free. It's a zero out of three. It takes no skill. And finally, we have Gray versus Buzz. Now you could do this with a lot of different brawlers with a lot of different combinations, but I feel like Gray versus Buzz is the best because if Buzz latches onto you and you hit him with your walking cane right in the face, then you could just cancel his super completely. And I feel like this is really good for Gray because you need to keep your distance to kill. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. It means a lot to me and it helps me out in the future. See you in the next one.